Okay, something just went weird. I lost the video I was recording. It still has its virginity. Yes, folks, I'm reviewing a non-alcoholic beer in this video. But please stay in. This is a special one. This is a special one. It's not one of those ones that you pick up at the store and it says ingredients, mineral water. Because some non-alcoholic beers are legitimately a beer label put on mineral water. <clears throat> this one actually has beer ingredients in it. Um, it's made actually by the Niagara College Teaching Brewery. And that's at the Niagara on the Lake Campus because they got the beer course there, the winery course there, and then got the brewery there because the Welland Campus doesn't do that. <coughs> so anyways, we're looking at Virgin Craft Brew Lager. 100 calories, the world's first alcohol free craft brew lager. I just wanted to see what this craft lager would taste like, and off camera I can spike it up if I want. <clears throat> okay, Niagara College, Canada. Mad Virgin Craft Brew Lager was crafted at Niagara's Col Niagara College's teaching brewery. This handcrafted recipe delivers best in class flavor with 0% alcohol. 10% of net sales go to Mad Canada. Mad Virgin Drinks out in Toronto. <coughs> and now check out the ingredients. It gets a little different. Here we go. Water. Malted barley. Hops. Modified tapioca starch. Irish moss. Irish moss, folks. And it contains wheat. So... Uh, I probably had tapioca starch in something before, but probably not any alcohol. I don't think I've ever consumed iris moss. So yeah, 100 calorie craft lager with no alcohol. That college students put together. Now, maybe I guess it's good that the video screwed up and somehow shut off on me randomly. Because I had a chunk of head that probably shouldn't have been there, probably should have been smaller. But yeah, just um, it's a very light pale looking lager with carbonation. You can see through it, you know, like I see my hand and stuff. <coughs> and then there was more head. And smell wise, yeah, you get a typical lager smell. Not a good smell, not a bad smell. Just a typical lager smell that passes on the smell because... Smells what it's supposed to be, and at least doesn't smell bad. But how does this virgin craft lager that students did? How does it taste? Let's find out. Cheers. As I'm taking it in. I'm wondering if it's reminding me a little bit of like a lemon lager. And the way it ends up finishing. A little weird. That moss gives it a little bit of a weirdness and kind of gives it a little bit of like a, you can tell like it's moss kind of thing. Not that I put moss in my mouth. I don't know what that would be like, but. I think I'm detecting the moss because there's something kind of like something like something like that. Whatever, I don't know how to explain it. It's got like kind of like some sour aftertaste a little bit on my uh, saliva. And it's just like cold wet water that tastes like lager. So I don't know. You can detect the moss and there's like a sour aftertaste and stuff makes me think a little bit of like a lemon beer or something you know what not bubbly like mineral water but it does taste a little like a mineral water actually with like moss and stuff so it's all right but you have to spike it if you want alcohol or else you get fuck all in the alcohol. And I don't know if it's the same price everywhere you're going to find it. But I ended up having to pay $225. I thought I'd give it a try. 
It's nice, but I can spike it offline or something. It's different. Different for a logger, but I guess your cell version of this was a little bit of alcohol, but nothing too high. Anyways, bye bye.